God is our refuge and strength, and ever present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way, and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, and the mountains quake with their surging. These are the words of the psalmist. And as we begin this memorial service this evening, it is a reminder to us that God is indeed our refuge and our strength. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we are glad that we can pause at the beginning of this memorial service to breathe a prayer to you for strength and guidance. We consider what we do here tonight to be an act of worship. For in what we do, we express our simple faith and trust in you. We ask for strength where we are weak, courage where we are afraid, light where there is darkness, and faith where there is uncertainty. May your spirit be with, each, be with us each moment and make of this a triumphant experience. May your Holy Spirit also comfort the hearts who bear the grief of losing their loved one or their friend. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Apostle Paul gave us some very powerful words in his letter to the Corinthians. He said, as a reminder to all of us, but Christ has indeed been raised from the dead. The first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through a man, the resurrection of the dead also comes through a man. For as in Adam all die, so in Christ all will be made alive. But each in turn, Christ, the first fruits, then when he comes, those who belong to him, then the end will come when he hands over the kingdom to God the Father after he has destroyed all dominion, authority, and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. Listen, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep, but we will all be changed in a flash, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. When the perishable has been clothed with the imperishable, and the mortal with immortality, then the saying that is written will come true. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. At this time, then, Stephanie is going to come and share a poem. I actually have two, but I have to find the one so I'll look for that in a second. The first one, when my grandpa passed, we actually put on a bookmark and I found it and deemed it very appropriate. When I must leave you, when I must leave you for a little while, please do not grieve and shed wild tears and hog your sorrow to you through the years, but start out bravely with a gallant smile and for my sake and in my name live on and do all things the same. Feed not your loneliness on empty days, but fill each waking hour in several ways. Reach out your hand in comfort and in cheer, and I will turn and comfort you and hold you near. And never, never be afraid to die, for I am waiting for you in the sky. And then the second poem that I have is, Do not stand at my grave and weep. Do not stand at my grave and weep, and weep. I am not there. I do not sleep. I am a thousand winds that blow. I am the diamond glints in the snow. 
I am the sunlight that, ripe, that ripens grain. I am the gentle autumn rain. When you, uh, or when you awaken in the morning hush, I am the swift uplifting rush. Of quiet birds in circle flight, I am the soft stars that shine at night. Do not stand at my gra grave and cry, I am not there, I did not die. like to say on behalf of the family that this is a beautiful turnout. If this mile should be the last mile for me Another sunrise or sunset I never see My journey should end just around the next curve. Lord, you've still given me more than I deserve. You've given me Thank you. 